When you meet someone and the first thing they asked is what you do for a living. Although, it sounds like a thoughtful good question but it also shows what their priorities are. You have to understand most people are concerned more about their future financial security not about you. The red flags is there from the beginning, don't ignore it. There is a popular saying, it is better to be unhappy in an expensive car than be with a broke man. If you make between 55 to 60k you are gold. If you make 80k you are platinum. If you make six figures or more you are diamond. Whichever way you fall, you are valuable but. 1. You need to define your value and how you want to feel in a relationship. So many of y'all are going through so much in your relationship, you know this ain't right but seems like you're stuck. Do not let anyone make you feel less, your value is not tied to the size of your pocket, that's what they want you to think so they can take all your value without you noticing. 2. Don't confuse compatibility with chemistry. Compatibility takes some time to know when with someone and this is why so many people eventually settle for chemistry. Most men settle for chemistry instead of compatibility. 3. Stop seeking validation from women, be proud of what you do to earn a living. If you were a tailor, Uber driver, farmer, teacher, barber, stop looking down on yourself, that's how they want you to feel when you don't have a white collar job. The next time she asks, what do you do for a living? Take a deep breath and slowly tell her what you do for a living is providing and protecting your loved ones. 4. If you have a car or house, leave it behind when you approach the girl you like. Don't not approach women with material things, if she doesn't appreciate you, she's not the one for you. For most women, a ambitious man is one who can provide an extravagant lifestyle even if it costs his nostrils. Don't get it twisted, there are so many people earning good income in white-collar jobs but living from paycheck to paycheck not because we don't have enough but in wanting an extravagant lifestyle beyond our means. You value is largely in how naturally inclined you are in providing, protecting your loved ones, being disciplined and creating a conducive and supportive atmosphere for relationships to thrive. That's the most valuable asset majority of women are unable to get from their man. Keep your head up, stay disciplined and focused, you are more valuable than you thought. And don't forget to walk past any woman who say you need to make millions in order for you to be their man.